you've been flashing a lot of custom roms and all of a sudden for whatever reason you want to go back to complete stock now in this guide we're going to cover how to do that using a computer and mi flash tool we will also be covering the steps to lock the bootloader in case you're doing a visit to the service center where you need to show that the phone is locked and you're having issues say a hardware problem or something else you can go ahead and follow this particular guide i will show you how to download the rom this will work for the redmi k40 the poco f3 and the mi 11x the links for all the files are mentioned in the description before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will have a link to our telegram community where we are about to complete 1500 members so join us there you can follow us on instagram twitter and facebook because we are present there as well and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going Now, as always, a part of this video will be from the earlier video because those steps, those set of instructions are common for all the Xiaomi phones, right? But what we need to pay attention to is this is a device which launched with Android 11 and recently we've get started getting Android 12 beta updates. So you can go ahead and use this method to downgrade or, you know, go ahead and lock the bootloader and flash stock ROM for whatever reason. But if you're downgrading from Android 12 to 11, you might have issues. I cannot guarantee that because I've not checked that. But from Android 11 to Android 11, you should be fine. If you're flashing the ROM from a different region to this particular region, on the Poco X3 Pro, you have issues with safety net. On this one, I've not seen those issues so far. So let's quickly get into it. The first step that I'm going to show you is to disable driver signature enforcement and enable or install the drivers. Now here's where MI flash tool comes into the picture. So the link is mentioned in the description and you just need to go ahead and download the MI flash tool. So let me show you over here. There you go. This is the one that I have open with WinRAR. Select this folder and extract it to a location of your choice. Okay, now you have to be a little careful over here when you do this. You have to go to say any drive. For example, I'm, I already have it extracted. I'll show it to you once again. I'm extracting it in D drive. Okay, and I will type in flash tool over here. Okay, flash tool. So let's go ahead and extract this. Now, depending on your computer's power, it will take some time, right? So we have flash tool over here and then, then we have this particular subfolder. Now, what you need to make sure is if you look at the address bar over here, there are no spaces over here, like the space bar, like between flash and tool, there is no space. MI flash, there is no space because if you have a space in between, it will give you errors while flashing. So make sure you are good with that. Now our flash tool is ready. But then before we extract the ROM, we need to make sure that a computer can detect the device. So if you've never you know, connected your device to the computer in fast boot mode, what will happen is it will ask you for a driver and then you will not be able to install it and you'll be wondering why. That is because to install the drivers, you need to disable driver signature enforcement. That means it will allow Windows to install unsigned drivers. How do you do that? Let me show you that real quick. So, if you are on Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, 10 or 11, this will work for you. So go to the start menu and type in advanced startup options. There you go. So select this. There you go. So it will tell you restart now. Now I'm going to, of course, stop screen recording before that. There you go. And you can see the screen, right? So you need to click on restart now. Restart anyway. Okay. Now, as you can see over here, click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options click on startup setting and then hit restart now we will get a lot of options the option of interest for us is f7 which allows us to install unsigned drivers that's how our devices will get detected in fast boot mode let's wait for windows to reboot now as i said remember your experience will vary depending on the type of computer the power of your computer the internet speed and various factors F7 says disable driver signature enforcement. So hit F7 over here. Let the computer restart. Now you only have to do this once. Once your computer has detected the fast boot drivers, you don't need to do it again unless you format your computer or you change your computer. Okay, so the computer has restarted. Now let's go to the MI flash folder over here and let's go to our flash tool folder. 
and we are looking for Xiaomi Flash.exe. Double click on this, hit yes. Now, ideally over here, you will have a pop-up coming up stating you need to install drivers. If you don't get that, either the drivers are already installed and even if they are not, you don't need to worry. Click on driver. It will ask you, please install driver. Click on install. Now, you'll keep getting two to three pop-ups over here. So, install this driver software once. Again. And again. So that's it. It will ask you to do that three to four times. Let's see here. There you go. This Chinese text means the drivers are installed. Now that you've installed the drivers, MI Flash tool is there. Let's go ahead and see the process of downloading the ROM and extracting it for the Mi 11X. Right? So now what we'll do is we'll go to Chrome and we will search download Mi 11X stock ROM. So say download Mi 11X stock ROM and hit enter. So click on this and you will get a list of all the ROMs that are available. Now we are looking here for the fast boot ROM. Okay. Now in our case, we are on the Indian Mi 11X. So look for India over here. Okay. India, 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 wait, India 12.5.5. So click on download. And then the file which says images, global images. This means that this is a fast boot ROM. Go ahead and download it. Now, once you've downloaded it, you need to extract it to the flash tool folder in the me flash tool folder. So my file for this particular device is in gadgets, Elliot stock ROM. And we are going to say 12.5.5. So select this particular images ROM and the moment you click on it, it will start extracting. Now this depends on your computer speed, your hard drive speed, your processor speed, how much time it will take to extract. I really, for me, it takes less than a minute, but if your computer is a little slow or old, it might take five to seven minutes. So please be patient while WinRAR extracts these files. Okay. Now that the extraction is done, select this, click on extract to go to your flash tool folder for me. It's in this drive, D drive and select me flash folder and hit OK. So what this will do is this will extract this entire folder as a folder to your MI flash tool folder. That's what we need to do. Now, while the extraction is happening, have a look at this phone. You need to make sure you backed up all the information because everything will be erased. You need to have more than 50% battery. I'm experienced, so I'm taking a risk. You don't take a risk. Don't do it if your phone is below 50% because these flashes can take up to 10 minutes. So please be very sure that you have more than 50% battery. Make sure you've removed your MI account, Google account, your lock screen, security, everything. Okay. Once that is done, press and hold volume down and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the fast boot logo. There you go. You have the fast boot logo. Now connect this to the computer. Now to make sure that you get decent speeds and a proper flash, make sure your USB cable is not damaged. Make sure your type C port is not damaged. Make sure you connect the phone to a port at the back of your computer. If you have a port, which is blue or red in color, the USB port, it is likely USB three or 3.1. So use that particular USB port. I'm going to connect it real quick. Okay, so for me, it is still extracting. Let's go to device manager to ensure that our device is detected Android phone bootloader interface. Make sure over here, you don't have an exclamation mark, a yellow exclamation or question mark. Okay, well, let's wait for the extraction to complete because this is the Mi 11X. The file is sort of big. It's taking a while. So if it's taking even longer for you, remember this PC is powered by the 5600X, which is a relatively modern processor. And there you go. So all I was trying to say is if your PC is a little old, like three, four years old and it's taking time, please be patient. Now we will go to the flash tool folder, MI flash and look for Xiaomi flash exe launch this. Okay. Go to the select button, navigate to your flash tool folder. So for me, it's storage space, flash tool and MI flash. Now over here, you see this Elliot in global images, select this folder and hit okay. Now at the bottom, you have three options over here. Clean all that will wipe everything, but will not lock your bootloader. Save user data. Don't do that. It will give you boot loops. 
clean all and lock this is the option which will lock your bootloader be very careful when you do this because sometimes you might have issues unlocking the bootloader after relocking it so i'm going to select clean all okay now over here we're going to click on refresh bam the device is detected now we will click flash okay in a couple of seconds under the status window you will start seeing files that are being flashed as you can see you can go ahead and expand this to see what file is being flashed now remember b11x has a rom that is around three gigabytes so in all probability based on various factors it will take time for it to be flashed so please be patient while the flashing happens and don't disconnect the phone from the computer don't do anything basically just if you're on a laptop make sure it is connected to the charger so it doesn't turn off and kill your phone all right now as you can look at the phone the flash is complete and if you look at the computer if you're not locking your bootloader it will give you this error error not catch checkpoint flash is not done that doesn't mean that your flash has failed although it says result error over here it will make sure that the phone is flashed and you will see in a couple of minutes that the phone has booted we will close the flash tool now you can disconnect your phone from the computer the moment it reboots now the first boot for miui even on a powerful device like the mi 11x will take about two to five minutes so please be patient when that happens all right now remember i told you to remove your mi account stuff if you've not removed it it will give you this so you'll have to open wi-fi settings connect to wi-fi and then enter your password and you should be good to go so this was a step-by-step -step guide to relock your bootloader flash your stock rom and retain warranty on your mi 11x let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.